right, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm gonna try to keep this brief. I wanna be to the point, and this is not going to appeal to everyone. I know if this does appeal to you, then you would probably be a great fit to work with me, either one-on-one -on -one with your business or in our group coaching program, right? And if it doesn't appeal to you, trust me, you're not gonna be a good fit to work with me because I am very firm in how I believe in this, all right? So a question that I get, I got this over the weekend again, is Ben, I'm not scaling my business fast enough. I need to scale it faster, all right? I see this question, I've seen it too much. And here's the funny part about this. When someone sends me that question, if you sent me that question, I would respond the same way. I'd say, well, why do you, why do you feel that? And what it does is it makes the person who sent me that message realize, well, you know, why do I feel that? Um, and I'd say 90% of the time, I don't get a response because what they're looking for is a tip, trick, or strategy. Right, And I'll tell you, if you send me that message and I was like, oh, try this, odds are you won't even do it. Right? Odds are you will not do it. And odds are if you do it, well, are you going to do it again? Or are you going to just go back to where you were before you asked me that question? And here is the problem, right? The problem is too many coaches trainers, business owners are impatient. Too many people are impatient. They care about what is happening now. And I'm all about being in the moment, like focusing on today, so today is better than yesterday type of thing. But I know if I think, well, I haven't skilled fast enough, well, Who's to say how, like, what's what's the proper time amount it takes to, uh, to scale a business, right? And here's the deal. So just so you know, I talk to really successful people, people that are doing half a million to a million dollars in training, in coaching, people who've done more than that, people who've done way more than that. And here's the thing that I've seen that all of them have in common. They are in this like a marathon. They're not doing this little gadget game where they press the easy button and they say, well, I want to scale this in the next 30 days. They don't do that. None of these guys and girls that I'm helping or none of the ones that I talk to on a regular basis have built their business that way. And it's almost like the big secret that everyone has is they just put their head down and they do the freaking work. They don't get distracted by all these little gadgets online, right? Do they have a business coach? Yep. Do they focus on what they want? Yes, all right? Do they run their business like a business? Yeah, all right? But do they look for the easy way out and, and try to do this like strategy type of way to scale their business overnight? No, they don't. That's the difference is too many of you are impatient and you want things now and you're not willing to be patient. You're not willing to be disciplined and my question for you, if you ever ask me that in the future, is where do you want to be in 10 years from now? It's a question I ask myself all the time. Is what I'm doing today in alignment with where, where I want to be in 10 years from now? The answer is yes, good. The answer is no, what the heck am I doing right now? <laughs> right? And when you think it, and when you think in terms of 10 years, five years, two years, you are thinking long term. You are not thinking what is happening right now and why is this not working? Well, 
here's the here's the reality. If you have a client, your business is working. Let's just focus on getting one more client. Let's not focus on the, the, the bright, shiny object stuff that you see on all these ads, right? And here's what's funny. And I, I shouldn't say it's funny. It's not funny. <laughs> and so I shouldn't be laughing. But this is what's sad, okay? This is sad. So I, I wasn't laughing at these people, <laughs> but it's it's... This is like an epidemic, and I've seen this. People who buy courses or buy stuff, most people don't do anything. They'll buy it, they're like, yes, I have it, and then they don't, they just kind of sit around and don't do anything, All right? People who think long-term, when they invest into a, a business coach or a mentor or some sort of course online, the first thing they do when they buy it is they log in and they go do it. They go do it. And like, that's the difference. People who get distracted versus people who do it. And those who get distracted will always go buy other things and then they're going to just be running on this hamster wheel. All right, now let me tell you something. And this is not to brag, this is to show you my mindset. I have spent at, at minimum the last 10 years, sorry, I'd say even the last four or five years, $100,000 on self-development at minimum, right? Why? I want to get better. I want to learn from people who are doing what I want to do. And here's what I don't do though, right? <laughs> I don't pay someone, I don't give someone money and invest into myself and then I expect them to do the work for me. That doesn't happen. I do everything that they tell me to do. If they have a 5,000 page book that I have to read on day one, I'll get it done. I don't dilly dally. I don't just get something and get the dopamine hit. Yes, I have it. And then I don't, I don't sit around, right? I complete the courses and I, when I, Invest into a mentor. I did that recently, all right? Big investment. I followed through with every single thing that, that, that they told me to do. Got great results. Why? Because I did what they said. I did not dilly-dally around, right? Didn't dilly-dally around. So here's the thing. If you're someone who's like, well, I'm always, I'm trying to scale what I do, but I, I'm just, I'm not patient. I would tell you, you probably should just quit. You should probably just quit because you won't, it's likely you won't be here in 10 years from now with your business. It's likely you won't evolve your program and make it better because you're just focused on scaling your business, right? And what about, what about thinking, well, how can I make my program better? How can I get my clients better results? When you think in terms of uh, just, you go in that direction of how can I get my clients better results? How can I uh, improve my service? How can I make sure everyone who goes through this program is, is doing great? When you think in terms of just heading in that direction, your business is going to scale faster than it would if you're trying to press this button of just getting clients overnight. Because now you have a better product, you have a better service, you're getting better results with your clients. That is the difference. And I know what does better on YouTube, right? What does better on YouTube is people talking about tactics, tricks, strategies to scale your business in the next 30 days. And I will tell you just for, for, for fact that a lot of people, they bite into those little 30 day types of things and then they don't follow through with those 30 day things or they follow through and typically what happens 30 days later, they're back to where they start because they're not hyped up anymore. They're not motivated anymore, right? And that's why I'll tell you those who really, really succeed 
long term are the ones who are just more disciplined. Right? They are just more disciplined. I am more disciplined than a, than I'd say 99% of people who are in, in this industry. I know. I'm not being cocky when I say that. I know I am. I'm willing to sit down, turn off the internet, and write a newsletter multiple times a week. I'm willing to come on here on YouTube and share what works for me, what's working for our clients. Like last year, our clients made millions of dollars collectively. Millions of dollars. So like I know a thing or two about how to grow the business. But I'll tell you, those who did really, really well in 2019, 2018, 2017, 2016, those are the ones who are just really, really disciplined. Because that's what you need. If, you, if you're going to be here in 10 years from now in business, you have to do the things that no one else likes to do. And it's not fun. Okay? It's not fun. I wish... There, there's, there's days I wish I could just come into the office and me and Cowboy just drink a couple whiskeys, right? And, and chill out, right? We just chill out. We, we look at, at the view outside of my office and just hang out, right? That's not going to get me to where I want to be though, right? A lot of, I see a lot of coaches and trainers I mean, this is, this is a side note, but I mean, I see this. There's a lot, a lot of you guys that you say you want to do something, but you don't actually want it. You're, you're, you're just saying, and you won't do the things that are required to do it. Otherwise you would have already done it by now, right? You would have already done it by now. So that's it for the video. I hope this helps you, all right? If you've ever, ever thought, well, I'm not scaling fast enough. Think about where you wanna be in two, 10, 15, 17 years from now, all right? And that will kill the thought of, oh, I'm not good enough right now, all right? And just know that you haven't arrived, I haven't arrived, no one's arrived. Those who are really disciplined, they will get to where they want to go and where they want to be over a long period of time, not a short period. So that's it. I'll see you later.